In this video, I want to show you how you can take some model details that you've made and turn them into kit bashing items and reuse them on other models. So here I have a feature that I created in the side of this cube. And this is the one that I want to be able to recreate. So it's pretty simple to do, but what we need to do is we need to make a cutter that matches everything that's been modeled here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a plane from selection. So now we're in this view. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a cube around this feature. And you have to make sure that it encompasses the entire feature. So now that we've done that, what we can do is we can extrude this. And again, it has to encompass the entire thing. We'll say OK. And then we're going to call this our cutter. So now that we have the cutter selected, what we can do is we can hit Q. So that makes that cutter our target body. And then we want to subtract the object that has our feature on it from it. When we do that, we get this. So now you can see that we have everything that we wanted in our cutter. But before I do that, let me go ahead and grab this cube and duplicate it. And I'll hide it. And then we'll do that again. Hit Q. We'll say OK. And then now that we have our cutter, let's go ahead and hide that. We want to group this together. So hit Control G and group it all together. And now that it's grouped together, we can move it out of the way. And this can be any anywhere that you want. And what I would suggest that you do is that you save this out to its own file. And then when you want to use it, you'll just append it into whatever you want to use it on. And then I'll show you how to use it. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and bring our cube back. So now let's just say that we were modeling on this cube and we wanted to bring this feature in. Like I said, you'd go up here and you'd hit import append, bring that file in. Now, once you have that file brought in, you want to make sure that all the pieces of it are selected. And then when they are, you hit control D. And then you go to a good place on the model where you can place it. So I'm going to go here. And then you'll notice that when I go here, I can select. And then once that's selected, we can go ahead and set what we want to do. In this case, we want to do a difference. So we're going to hit W. And then we're going to accept. Let's just say that we wanted it here. Right click to accept it. Go here. Right click to accept it. Hit escape. And there you have it. You can reuse this feature anywhere you want. And you don't have to waste that time remodeling stuff over and over and over again. Just model it out once and make sure that your piece is made to fit whatever kind of geometry you're going to be using it on. In this case, this is meant to be used on flat surfaces. You know, you wouldn't be able to use this on a sphere, let's say. So just keep that in mind. You want to model things to match where you're going to be using them. And then, like I said, just save them out. And I would go through and make sure that you name everything accordingly. But just go through and name everything, group it together, save it out, and then you can reuse it as much as you want. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.